Today is Friday, January 6th. I'm Liang Hong, this week on Across America. From New York, a performance of a Ming Dynasty classic love story titled The Peony Pavilion is presented by the China Arts and Entertainment Group and New York's Lincoln Center this weekend. A new show titled Outside People is presented at Bing Nian Theater in New York City. From Los Angeles, Chinese Consul General in Los Angeles holds a reception for the media on January 4th. We're here at New York's Lincoln Center, where this weekend, the China Jingling Dance Company of Nanjing will perform the classic Chinese love story, The Peony Pavilion. China Daily was on hand for a rehearsal. Performed for the first time outside of China, the production is presented by the China Arts and Entertainment Group. The Peony Pavilion, written by Tang Xianzu and first performed in 1598 during the Ming Dynasty, tells the story of forbidden love between a government official's daughter and a young scholar. Traveling to the netherworld and back, the two lovers fight for a chance at love. The production will be performed at Lincoln Center the evenings of January 6th through 8th. Ling Lu, president of the dance department of the Jingling Art Organization and choreographer of the production, spoke with China Daily. Set among an international crowd in modern-day Beijing, China, a new show, *The Outside People*, debuted at Vineyard Theatre in New York City. The play is the story of a young American man, Malcolm, who falls in love with a young Chinese woman, Xiao Mei. Yet, confronting a wide array of cultural, social, and political complexities, he has to face the realities and his own fears. Director Evan Kepnet and leading actress Li Junli shared with China Daily the yeah, inside stories of the play. I was um, I started acting not too long ago. I did go to uh, acting school. I was a dancer prior to being an actress, and uh, I was just handed uh, uh, my agent called with the script, and he said, "You you speak Mandarin, right?" And I said, "Yeah, yeah, yeah." He said, "Okay, I'm going to send you a script, and I'm going to have you look at it and tell me if you'd be interested." And I normally it takes me forever to go through a script, but I just flew through this one, and I just called him right up, and I said, "Absolutely, I would love to go in and try out for this. I love it, and、um, the Mandarin is、uh, 没问题 It's just <laughs> I can do it easily." Of the heartbreaking, tragic elements, I think that、uh, the culture clash. I think that. That being able to tell a story from uh, uh, an American's perspective on China at this moment、mm-hmm. is something that I think all Americans are thinking about these days on a pretty regular basis in a number of different ways. The show will run until January 29th at Vineyard, an off-Broadway theater company that has produced groundbreaking new plays and musicals for over 20 years. Yu Hanliu and Kellerton Dawson, China Daily, reporting from New York. <laughs> The China Consulate General in Los Angeles kicked off the New Year with a reception for the media on January 4th. Consulate General Chou Xiaofang and the heads of different offices summarized the challenges and achievements in 2011. Mr. Chou recalled President Hu Jintao's U.S. visit in early 2011 and U.S. Vice President Joe Biden's trip to China in August. At the state level, 14 out of 50 governors in the United States visited China last year. Some of them expressed their hope to fly to China again this year. The Los Angeles area is important for the Sino-U.S. relationship in economy, education, technology, and more fields. Chen Huaiming, consul and head of the education office, said about 20,000 Chinese international students out of the 170,000 nationwide are in Southern California, and China's Thousand Talents program has recruited more than 70 top-notch researchers from the Los Angeles area. More progress on the bilateral relationship is expected in the new year, which is the 40th anniversary of the normalization of the Sino-U.S. relationship. China Daily Los Angeles Bureau Wang Jun reports.